You are go, you ham. It's like you're, you're, she, you were talking and she's like, what are you talking about? And she like leans back and she's like, what are you talking about? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined again by guest Chad Taylor. Hi folks. He joins me today to talk about some of the interesting things on my heckle bassoon. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my heckle bassoon has an extra long, long joint. And I've always kind of wondered why it had an extra long, long joint, and Chad has the missing answers. There's about five different variations to the acoustical designs of heckled bassoons that have been out. And okay. even within some of those fundamental variations, there are variations on that. Of course. So. Aaron's bassoon is a late 10,000 series heckle, which was produced <laughs> right around the early 1960s. At that point, Heckel was going through a lot of change in the designs of how the bassoons were going to be built. The rumors are it was after the war, the quality of the wood wasn't nearly as good, so they were increasing the wall thickness. I've also heard that it's because they were looking for a darker sounding instrument that had stronger projection. But nonetheless... I love all these gossip rumors, like, I've heard this. I've heard this. But okay, but tell us the real story. Right around that same time period, Norman Hertzberg came onto the scene and was becoming one of the most prominent educators in the bassoon. He also had some ideas on the shortcomings of the acoustical designs to the heckle instruments. So he actually was conversing with Heckle about yes. making instruments. One of the biggest problems with a lot of the earlier Heckle bassoons from the late 6000 series all the way up into the early 10,000 series is the low register, if the reed style does not match it well, can be exorbitantly sharp and very unresponsive. I personally play on an 8000 series Heckle, so I can attest to the fact that the way the reed has to be balanced is very critical for me to play down in the low register. Mr. Hertzberg decided to converse with the Heckle people and finagled them to have the option of ordering the long joint four millimeters longer from the bottom. So this means that because mine is an extra long long joint, I have a Hertzberg bassoon. Exactly. And in fact, strangely enough, Mr. Hertzberg's primary instrument was a 10,000 series Heckle. It's just such a small world. Yes. <laughs> Aaron's bassoon is quite interesting in the fact that the low register response is very in tune, it's very even. The low register response for evenness of intonation is actually quite exceptionally good. Simply because the long joint is longer. Exactly. It's actually a common practice for people that play the pre-war heckles to actually pull their long joint out about two millimeters from the bottom to help the low register response. But on mine, I we, actually need to make sure the long joint is pushed all of the way in because it's, exactly. it's actually longer exactly. in formation. One of the other things that was installed on it was a right hand E flat trill key. Now, this is something that I did when I purchased the instrument. This key is probably one of my favorite add-ons to a bassoon because not only does it give you a great option to trill D to E flat, but it also gives you C to D, and it gives you a C sharp to D sharp trill. I can tell you right now, there are numerous times that I love having that type of key on a bassoon because trilling a C sharp to a D sharp is just, it's a handful. Now, I do have to say though, that if it is not precisely lined up, if the wing joint is not put in at exactly the right angle, it will not work. And the low notes will not respond either. Right. So it is something that it does take a second to slow down, which I like before I sit down to play. Right. Other things that are cool with my instrument, are an A-flat, B-flat trill. Now, the key sits where the uh, A-flat key would normally sit for the back thumb. Right. In this case, on Aaron's bassoon, this is actually what I think would be the absolute best spot to put the key. It's not in an obstructive area. It's very easy to access. If you don't have a lot of roller keys, it's not a long stretch to reach all the way down. And it's a, an exceptionally useful key. Hold on. Coco is going to join us in this video. I'm not sure if you can see her. She is insisting on being part of this. Um, okay, but on my bassoon, when I originally purchased it, there was a key for the right hand middle finger. It is not uncommon when you buy a vintage bassoon that you will want key work to added or taken off to fit it to your specific playing style and the type of repertoire that you play. My personal choices are to have the right hand E flat trill key. I like having occasionally a little finger whisper key. That can be very indispensable. Wow. Um, 
I don't have that. The A flat to B flat trill is an excellent key to have. There's other keys that can be added. The bassoon it has an unending list of optional key work. We're even seeing bassoons today that have keys that have high G sharp keys on them now. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think the moral of the story too is that anytime you are buying an older heckle, there are going to be some things that are custom from somebody else who has owned it prior to you. And it's a great reason to develop a relationship with a repair technician so that you can make sure that you are getting what you want out of the instrument and that you get the add-ons that meet your needs. Absolutely. The bassoon is really a great canvas to do all sorts of different mechanical things that are pretty much limited to the imagination so it's a it's really a fun instrument to work on I can imagine I, I love just even talking about it yep. if you guys enjoyed this detailed discussion about my heckle bassoon and bassoons and add-ons that you can have done on your own instruments be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to make sure you don't miss any future videos be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see